There's always, always time for a coffee. Do you have any friends that never drink coffee? Yeah. I've got a friend called Ryan, shout out Ryan Darlow, who's never had a cup of coffee in his life. He's never had caffeine. He's like 32. I wonder how he feels. Great. I reckon he, I reckon he feels amazing and healthy, but to justify my own caffeine addiction, I tell myself that he's probably really unhappy. Do you think you'd have been more productive in your life without coffee? Probably, yeah. I don't know, I've, I've, I don't know. I don't know. It's really weird though, because it's like an addiction that everyone's kind of happy to have. Like, if, so, if I could wave a magic wand and you didn't want coffee anymore, would you want that? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I don't like being reliant on something. You are reliant on it. Yeah. You're a fucking nightmare in the morning without it. You're not up early enough to see that. That's so true. <laughs> That's so true. FYI, What's Georgie up? like for the first two hours of her day? I haven't got a clue. You don't see me. Absolutely <laughs> haven't got a Scooby-Doo. You're That's still true. Asleep. Yeah. Anyway, this is what my coffee looks like. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. Today, in a minute, I'm necking my coffee. We're off to the gym in a second and I am gonna jump into an upper body session with a focus around something called the 6-12-25 method. This was a training methodology that was popularized by the late legendary Charles Poliquin and it is basically around selecting uh, a rough kind of movement pattern, six reps, so super heavy of something, straight into 12 reps of a very, very close movement, probably slightly lower uh, kind of complexity and then into 25. And it's an amazing way of developing uh, strength, kind of functional hypertrophy and a little bit of muscular endurance as well. Uh, two to three, a good kind of three minutes between after, because by the end of the 25, obviously you should be simply ball bagged. Two, three minutes break, do that three times. So I'm gonna do a variation of that for push, which I'll walk you through when we get there, because I haven't fully decided yet. A variation of that for pull and then some accessories to finish off with. I reckon the whole session could probably fit into about 50 minutes, but it's an incredible amount of training load and really, really driving home a good quality muscle building adaptation. So I shall finish my coffee and then we'll get lifting. And you said I had a caffeine in I know, I literally just had a coffee and one of these again, no shame. Okay, so <clears throat> a little bit of a shoulder warm now, and then we move into the 6, 12, 25, and basically today's prescription for the push section, so we're kind of breaking into two, is incline bench for six, so that's the main compound lift, and then effectively from there, six heavy reps on that, move into 12 reps of, obviously you're very pre-fatigued after that, you move into 12 reps of another exercise, and I'm gonna do some dumbbell flat bench, and then move into 25 reps of something else, and I'm gonna just do some body weight, uh, tricep dips and rest for a good three minutes uh, even though rest period is one of the biggest dictating factors of kind of growth hormone production release I'm happy to kind of stretch that out to make sure that you're a little bit more recovered by the time you come back to this I'm gonna do a little bit of a warm-up on this now make sure my shoulders my pecs my triceps are ready to go and then ready for the suck so 90 kilos for six on the incline bench that is it's a weight that should be fairly flipping comfortable um, but normally I have a bit more break when I go from a set of six into a set of 12 or something, and I definitely don't ever go from a set of 12 to a set of flipping 25. So it's that, I'm just slightly unsure, because I have done this before, the six, 12, 25, but not for a long time, and I don't think I did it properly. Uh, and anything that Charles Pollock had ever created is unbelievably effective and extremely painful in equal measure. So I'm scared, basically. But enough waffle, let's crack on. Now look at 
That was flipping horrendous. That was a lot spicier than I was expecting, actually. Uh, the incline bench was fine. Even the, even the flat dumbbell bench actually felt kind of okay for the first half. It's just the speed that that fatigue kind of creeps in on you when you're fresh. It's like a slow kind of decline of ability and you feel that strength leaving. But when you've pre-fatigued it with the other exercise, it's like one rep is fine and the next rep you're just unable to do it. And the dips had to break that into two little rounds, a bit of a cluster, 20 followed by five. There's just no way that I was getting a strict 25 out there. For the next one, I'll keep the weights and the other thing the same, but I think I'll go into 25 press-ups just because... Uh, You're a pussy? Basically because I'm a pussy. Exactly, thank you. Thank you for your support, camera lady. <laughs> I appreciate that. That pep talk, that worked, I'm ready. The pump is real. So about another 20, uh, 10, 20 seconds, and then I go again, again, 90 is about right, I think. I reckon the fatigue that I started to feel on kind of rep six or seven, seven or eight, nine, on the dumbbells last time, we'll probably feel about five, six this time, and it has to be press-ups. There's no way I'm doing 25 dips. Uh, couldn't really do it on the first set, and I predict there's definitely going to be a performance drop in this because I'm having like three minutes. Effectively, I've done three sets of work. <clears throat> Only three minutes before you do another three is not that much. So, round two, let's go. Bloody hell, the fatigue just accrues so much more than I thought. It's so weird just doing push-ups regularly, movements that are standard, should be fairly comfortable, and they feel so hard so quickly. It's, uh, it's definitely cheeky. I had about two and a half minutes break, two and a half to three. Probably have three to 3.20 on this one. Put the clock on now, actually. Three to 3.20 before going to the last set, but Everything is feeling a lot harder. The incline was okay, but it still felt heavy. The dumbbells felt heavier on the second round. But I'm gonna be strong, I'm not gonna go lighter. I'll cluster it if I need to. I'm gonna get the work done. I think my strength endurance is fairly good normally, but this just feels like a completely different flipping ball game doing it in this quick succession. I've like chipped away at my body's ability to recover quickly with different methodologies and stuff over the last couple of years, but can't recover in 10 seconds from that much lactic dumping. So three rounds of that done, and that is effectively enough of the, the primary part of the push session done. I'm now going to repeat a similar thing for pull in a minute and then a few auxiliary things but if you want an amazing muscle building response amazing strength adaptation and in a short enough period of time you can kind of get in do your session and get out this is a winner okay so onto the pull section what we are going to do 90 kilos on some bent over rows we're going to do that for six that should definitely be fairly comfortable but obviously there might be a little bit of kind of like a movement this is a hip deviation just in case you're wondering a little kind of chest pop okay. uh, so six strict then into 12 strict pull-ups, underhand, so for chin-ups, because I'm doing overhand for this. Uh, so six of these, 12 pull-ups, and then 25 just band pulls. So it's not really hitting the lats, but the back of the shoulders and the rear delts, that's gonna flip and burn, it's just great. We're gonna bring everything round and keep the posture nice and tight. And I can't waste any time with moving anywhere because I've literally got six, 12, 25. So I can't even pretend I need to walk slowly somewhere to get my breath back. So, pull apart round one.
can't accept the loss, I'm hard headed. There's a little bit of madness to my method. Many falling off that fine line that I'm treading. I risk anything to be great, and I'm not letting nobody rob me of my victory. Number one, that's what I'm meant to be. When by any means, only thing that makes sense to me, I can make nice or make history. I got that dog in me, yeah. Turn me up. Big energy, got the crowd going up. Flipping it, first round done. That was as expected, spicy, but not as bad as the push stuff, which you kind of expect with a pool, little pool section. The bed over rows were good for me to stay strict at six. 90 is probably about right. I could probably go to 100 for uh, like a power pen lay row or something, but not like this. 12 pull ups was okay, but the row does take it out of you actually just having no break before you're going to pull ups hard. That's what I'm meant to do. By any means, only thing that makes sense to me. I can make nice or make history. I got that dog in me, yeah. Turn me up. Big energy, got the crowd going nuts. I got that dog in me, yeah. Any up. I take on anyone. I don't need a one no one. I got that dog in me, yeah. I'm talking all bite, no bark. I could rip your squad up. I got that dog in me, huh. So what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's up? I told him move over. Enough of that mediocre I've been. The man is cruising around in the stroller I got. Look at the burn. Burns quick. That's good though, one more round. The row is the same, the, the banded pulls are the same. There's the pull-ups in the middle, set of 12. And even though it's underhand, it's just the first round after the row, it started to get a little, I used to, I started to feel it at around kind of rep 10. But rep seven then, which means in this final round we're about to do in a couple of minutes. Probably gonna feel it around rep four, which is not gonna be great, but two thirds of that stuff done. You know, you can get all of this stuff done in kind of 35, 40 minutes, and that is a workout on its own. So the final round, let's hit it. I got that dog in me, so what's up? Yeah, 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 so what's up? I told him move over. Enough of that mediocre I've been. The man's just cruising around in the stroller I got. Ice in my veins like a cut in Minnesota. Why not? Show you how I'm built. Come a little closer. A lot of heart, been smart. Aura got a glow. We can restart, give head start, still get the same result. I'm about mine. Don't you get it confused? I'm a win. Win again. Yeah, that's all that I do. I got that dog in me. Yeah, turn me up. I was making a joke saying my forearms are really pumped and not from the way they normally get pumped. And Georgie was so disgusted, she turned the camera off by that joke, wasn't a fan. My neck is still feeling a bit weird actually from this. It's so funny, I try to keep my shoulders down, kind of take the traps out of it, so it's just the, kind of the rear delt, but the traps kind of kick in and pull them up. But that is all six rounds done. Three rounds of 6 to 25 on push, three rounds of the same on pull. Now a little bit of kind of, you know, few accessory movements and a bit of core to finish off with, and then we're all done. But this whole session would have only taken about 50 to 60 minutes, winner. And as luck would have it, I'm back at the flat and I actually did not do any accessories or cool work because for one boring reason or another, we had to get home. But that just kind of demonstrates actually the fact that I am absolutely happy at an emotional level and intellectual one, of course, being a consummate professional, that the session that I did is more than adequate for a full upper body session. Six, 12, 25, three rounds for push, three rounds for pull, done within kind of 45 minutes and uh, genuinely more of a pump than I've gotten a long time. And sometimes the, one of the paradoxes I feel with upper body sessions is you can either chase that pump or you can do something heavy. But the fact that you've got a good amount of volume lifting, you know, d doing some sets at six reps means that you're both lifting heavy and getting a pump as well. So you kind of do get that double benefit because most of us, the chances are we are pursuing an improvement in both strength and muscle size and definition. So the fact that we can kind of tick those boxes in one session is wicked. If you did enjoy this video, guys, please do smash that like button. If you haven't yet done so, make sure you subscribe. Any questions on anything we covered, put it down in the comment section below. And as always, team, stay strong, stay healthy, stay awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.